Now, let's go to our braid. How do we braid? I'm sure you'll be wondering what all of this is all about. Now, I'm going to scatter this. Now, this is the picture we are going to be creating to start our braid. Yes. Now, there are so many ways in which you can actually braid. When it comes to braids, there are so many ways you can braid. But this particular style, this is the pattern with which you go with. This is the, this is the step. Now, it doesn't matter whether you're working with five, six, seven, eight, nine, although majorly you can only work with even numbers. Even numbers are two, four, six, seven, no, two, four, six, eight, ten, and like that, and like that. Those are even numbers. You understand? So now you find out that for this. It's an even number. The number of straps I have is six. I'm making use of six straps. You can see two white, two red, and two blue. As you can see. Don't forget that it's the same strap I created initially that I'm using. Work with the length. Please don't forget to add 20% of the, of the length you measured. Please don't forget. At least add 10%. But I would suggest that you had 20. It is better that it's longer than it being shorter. Please, I'm begging. You can even have 30%. It was to be on the silver side. Now, what we are going to do now, I'm going to rearrange it for us to see. Now, I've, this is the way it is. Now, let's start all over. The first thing you're going to do is place your white first you can see that i made it i didn't place it like this it's just a little it's, it's just like i slanted it this is your white is that not it the next one is our red place your red this way so i'm going to try to use something to hold it down i'm also going to try to use something to hold it down on this side as well now the third one is going to be our blue you can see let's ensure that at least something is holding them down so that you don't get confused now if you are working with eight continue to arrange it like that if you are working with nine arrange it i'm uh, sorry if you are working with eight it means four will be down this way and the remaining four is what you are going to cross over it if you are working with 10 straps, it means you are going to arrange one two you're going to arrange one two three four five this way but for us in this particular braided class, we are going to be arranging, we are just going to make use of six straps. You know it's going to be at the toe part. It doesn't have to be too wide. But in case you want to use it for your full front pattern, which means you just want to use it to create a mole. We call it a mole when it can just cover this front part of your leg on the heel. It's, it's, it's called a mole. So if yours is a mole, you can make it 12. I mean 12 straps. So what you need to do is just to arrange it. Now, this one will be four. This one will be five. You understand? Look for Just make sure that it, then the sixth one. Then the sixth one. So you have one, two, three. You see the way I arrange it. That is the way it will be arranged. Now, let's continue. You can see that white was the first one. And red, and then we have a um, blue. Now, it's not compulsory that the leather should be different colors. It can be the same color. It doesn't really matter. It can be the same color. But for us in this particular class, we are going to be making use of different colors. So that in case you want to achieve the same thing I achieve, this is the process. And if you want to use the same color all through, there is no problem with that. Now, pick up your white. Put it all over it like this, as if you are slanting it. You can see that it's on all of them. I hope you can see it's on all of them. So after placing it this way, we are going to begin our weaving. You can see the way I'm trying to hold this place up so that up so that it will not be moving. So this one is up here. So I'm going to place the white under the red. Please just follow me gradually and we will get to our destination. Let me put it under again before I arrange it so i want to i want this side to hold it for me let me uh -huh. good what i'm using to hold it is not holding it properly for me so now you can see what i have 
you understand the way I arrange this, arrange this, and arrange this. Then this white, the first one, which is white, is the same one I picked first to slant on this side. And when I placed it on it, I made sure that it's not standing on the red. It's under the red then on top of this blue. If there's still another one on this side, probably I added another one. Probably you are working with it and there is still one strap here. It's not going to stand on it. It will go under. So it means that you are going to continue your weaving that way, irrespective of the number of straps you are working with. So that is that. Now that we have picked the white, we are going to go now and pick the next color that is arranged is red. So you pick red. Now, if you place the red on it, you can see the way it looks like it's on all of them. Now, you cannot start with placing it on it because this one already has it on it and not under. So you are going to start from under, put it under, then it will be on top of this one because both of them cannot be under. So it's going to be on top of this. Please do this carefully and you will get the same result I'm, I'm, get, I'm going to get now. Please understand me. The reason why I'm not putting it on top is because this already has something on top. We won't be able to achieve what we want to achieve with that. So I have this under, I placed it under, but it has to be on top of this red. And because of the way our braid look like, we cannot afford to arrange it anyhow. If you arrange it anyhow, you are going to still get the same, you are going to get the same braid, but the positioning of each on every of the red and then the blue and the white will be different. So with the, with this process, you can use, you can even, you can undo any color. Any color of your choice, you can put together and do it. You can use the same color and follow the same process. But if you want it to look the same way mine look like, this is the step you have to follow. Even the arrangement of the stab, uh, of this of the straps of these straps determine how your final braid will look like. So we have this on top of this. You should know that the two, this one and this one, cannot be on top. We have to suspend this under it. So I'm going to do the same thing again. Try to put this under. Trying to hold it. So you can see what we have now. Now I'm going to pick up my blue, which is the last one. You see this. If I put it on it, you can see that I am very correct because this is under. So this one has to be on top. I believe you're understanding my explanation. This has to be on top. Now, oh, this one, it cannot be on top of the next one, which is red. It has to go under. So I'm going to strategically do that. Now, you can see what I have. It's under this one, but it's on top of this one. So perfectly, this is what we want our final outlook to look like. This is what we want it to look like. Now that it's like this, you can push it together. I mean, you can push all of this together. You can push ensure that when you are pushing the arrangement does not is not scattered you see so we have three here we have three here we have three on this side too at this point you will definitely need somebody or something to hold it you can get like a nail a small small nail to hold this down then you do the same thing on this particular side but for me i'm going to Somebody will hold, hold it for me so that you can see in case you don't have nail, you still want to create the braid. Just all you need is somebody to hold it together for you. So let's go ahead. You see, I've just pushed it together. That's the only thing that happened here. I pushed it together. Now let's see how to continue. Let me hold the side. So she'll be holding that side as well as this particular side. You can see. So I am going to also hold these three and hold this three like this so i'm going to try to pull it very well pull it very well so that we don't have too much excess on this side so please let me see if we have enough or if it's something release your hand a little bit so i can still push it now you can still move it so you too you can move your hand too so we are going to let me see this if we are not having okay so you can you can you can see what i have now so the next step is you are going to pick this one if you look at this one you find that it's on top of this blue so you are going to pass it under the red and then it will climb on the blue this place will be having two extra two now why this side has four please 
I want us to follow this so that we understand. You can see this has two now and this has four. Now you are going to come to the white, this first one. If you are using the same color, just follow the same step, you will get the same results. Pick up this. You know that this is actually under this blue, so you can't put it under red again. Both of them will be under. No. So you are going to carry, pick up this, put it on top of the red, let it go under the blue, then on top of the white. So you can see that the one on this side, the three of them, I still make sure they maintain this place. These two still remain. I did not push anything there. It's just the four on this side that I inserted into themselves or interwove into themselves. So this one, this white that is coming, I'm going to join it to this. You pull so that you don't have unnecessary space in between it. You don't need the space. Now this is three. I'm going to come back to this side and make it become two again. I'm going to pass it under. Then it will climb on the white. It will come to this side that has three and it will become four and this one will be two. As you can see, I will come to this side and pick the, the, the first one on the edge is what you are going to be picking on each side. Now, as this one is here now, I'm going to pick this. It's good. It cannot be under. If it's under, you can see two are already under. No. So it's going to climb on top. Don't forget that this one has four. Make sure that the four of them are on that same side. Don't, don't pull it to where you have two. So now that the red is, under, is on top of the blue, it will go under the white. And climb on the, on the fourth strap there, which is also the red. So on this side, the red will come here and it will look like this. So that is the same way we are going to continue until we finish it. Make sure that you are pulling. If you don't pull it, you'll be seeing opening in between. So I'm going to go with this. And this will come to this side. It will become two again. I will pick my pink, my, my, my blue, any one that's at the edge, please. It goes on top. Then this one under and on top. By the time you do this over and over, even if it is ordinary rope that you have, try it, you will get the same result. So now that this one is three, I'm going to pass the one at the edge again under it. You are always passing it under what is beside it. Please, don't come and pass it under the one that is on the other side. No, you can see the way I'm holding them differently. So when you pass it under, it will come and join the one on the other side. That's what always happens. So I'm picking this one again. It will climb on the red, under the blue, then on top of the white. It's actually an amazing strategy that one has to learn. The same thing goes here and it goes this way. It goes here and goes this way and come this way. So that's what exactly will happen. Even if you are working with eight, you are working with 10, it's still going to be the same thing. So I want to quickly finish it for us to see. So when you finish like this, now you can see that you have already finished on this side. It's either you get a needle, I mean a hand sewing needle, to stitch this side, or you make use of this our glue, or this our small glue. If it's super glue, you can lay your hands on. Get it. Make sure it's available. So just put a drop under. It will hold this down. You have already finished it. It will hold it down and it, it will not be loosening. Come to this other side too. You see, this one can still go under this way. So put some on it. And then, please be careful with the super glue. You know, it's always very hot. So it stays like that. You can see that it's not loosening. So I'll come to this side and try to finish it up as well. So... I'm going to just put a little here, put a little as well here. You have to be very careful. You can tear the leather, so you have to do it with care. So this one also. So you can see what I have. So you can see sticking to my hand. So you have to be very careful with it. <laughs> so you can see that now I can leave this freely. Each time you are through with this, Try to do it this way so that the glue will not stick and disturb the tip from flowing. So you can see what I have here. So I'm now going to come to this side and collect it from her. You can see that I've collected it. So she'll be holding that side for me. So I'm going to just arrange it. The same thing that happened on that side is what is happening here. You will lift it and it will come this way. 
and i think this is already small so i'm just going to go ahead and use my glue to hold them down here so that is that and this will be here that one is okay like that so i'm going to come to this side try to see if i can do the same thing but at least just to knit it up you want to make it neat careful with the gum you can see different dimension that the gum is trying to move to so i'm going to make this stay i just want it to finish perfectly well so even if you want to cut off some side you can cut off all these SSs. you can cut off all these ones if you so desire you can see what it looks like you can cut off this and see what I have so now you can see how small it is I told us ensure you add 20 percent of the length oh please or else it will not size it now let me quickly check it wow this is beautiful can you see what we have can you see what we are so whatever even whether it's the same color or not you are still going to achieve the same look so now you know how to create the braid now let me quickly let us know that the inner part you can see how it looks like this side will look like you don't have to hide anything please you don't have to hide anything the only th reason the only thing that will make you hide a, a leather at the back here just to cover this place is when you did not if you did not stuff it if you did not stuff it with marco like mine it's just only a strap of leather that you use like i showed you the other time then you can decide to you know had another leather at the back just to cover it and make it have enough strength to be able to you know sustain the feet so you can see so if not you don't have to hard anything so basically that is it about the braid now let's go to the back strap